here is a pulley this pulley may be resting say on the wall of a well and here we have the well there is a string this string rotate and there is a bucket here is the bucket this bucket has certain mass m okay now we can push it up and when we leave it it will fall down suppose there is no pulley if there is no pulley and we allow a bucket to fall down what will be its acceleration the acceleration will be equal to g that is 9.8 but if it is with the pulley we leave it allow it to fall down it is falling down will it have acceleration equal to g answer no it will not have why because here it has the energy at this level that energy is equal to mgh when it is falling down the complete energy is being converted into kinetic energy of this bucket and of this bucket only here again when this bucket was here this was having potential energy mgh we leave it allow it to fall down it is falling down it wants to use its energy as kinetic energy of the falling bucket but it cannot why this is rotating so some of the energy of this bucket is absorbed is taken by this pulley which is consumed in energy of rotation so the remaining energy is received by this bucket and it comes down and that energy is definitely less than mgh therefore kinetic energy of this bucket is less kinetic energy of this bucket freely falling is more so this will have more acceleration and this will have less acceleration so this acceleration is less than g this is why its acceleration is less energy is taken up by this now we have to find out how much is that acceleration the process is same this string has got certain tension this has got a radius let us say this radius is equal to r this is tension t this is a force so what is the torque on this pulley torque on the pulley is equal to force into radius that is t into r or r into t okay then we know that torque can also be calculated as i into alpha we write it this way now this tension we want to omit so how much is tension here tension is equal to i alpha upon r alpha is angular acceleration here and here it is falling down with linear acceleration a there is a here linear acceleration is a here angular acceleration is alpha what is the relation between the two so we know the relation that is a is equal to r alpha or alpha is equal to a upon r so this we can write as i is equal to a upon r and this one r makes it square so tension is equal to i a upon r square okay now make a free body diagram here the force which is acting downward is mg the force which is acting upward is tension so what is the net force net force on bucket is equal to mg minus t this is mg minus okay mg minus t is the net force t t 
t is equal to i a upon r square i a upon r square now this body has got mass m falling down with acceleration a final acceleration net acceleration is how much a so what is the net force on this mass into acceleration m a so what is the net force m a which is equal to mg minus i a upon r square take a terms on one side so this is m plus m a m a plus i a upon r square this is equal to mg divide with m on both sides so what we get is i is a plus a plus i upon mr square into a is equal to g this leads to next step take a common 1 plus i upon mr square small r or capital r it is one and the same thing that stands for radius of the pulley okay so here a is taken as common 1 plus i upon mr square is equal to g is equal to g so a is equal to a is equal to g upon 1 plus i upon mr square okay this <clears throat> this is the acceleration why this i cannot be taken as mr square because this is we don't know what it is if it is a disk then this has to be written as half mr square if it is a ring then we will write it 1 mr square if it is something in between then it will be in between three 3 upon 4 or anything that is why this is the correct formula now here you see this acceleration is g divided by something which is more than 1 because it is more than 1 this acceleration will be less than g acceleration is less than g and this we have already explained with energy equations before it so this is acceleration of this thing the same thing goes for yo yo when the yo yo comes down you acquire the same formula here when yo yo comes down this is the tension in the string and it has got mass m with which it comes down and it is rolling so you do the same calculations and you get acceleration like this but this is a disk if yo yo is a disk you can very well put here half m r square so example for yo yo disk i is equal to half m r square so how much is acceleration acceleration is equal to g upon 1 plus half m r square upon m r square that is half so this is 2 upon 3 g so how much is the acceleration of yo yo when it comes down it is not equal to g it is 2 upon 3 equal to g otherwise if i leave it here it fall down with acceleration g but if i make a yo yo with a string then it will roll down and come it will become less than that less than g only 2/3 of g what happened to that some energy is lost used in rotation and that energy is not lost when yo yo comes to the bottom portion here all this energy which is due to 1 upon 3g all that energy becomes its kinetic energy and because of that kinetic energy it rolls up again that is what happens in yo yo that is why it rolls up again because it has certain energy and if this 
I throw down, I drop it, then it will not come up because it has no energy. All the energy is converted into its kinetic energy and it makes it up. That's all. <clears throat> so these are the examples. This you must remember. Earlier you have done for a slope and for the slope how much it was? It was g sin theta. In this case how much is theta? In this case theta is equal to 90 degree. So this become 1. So this is g upon 1. That was also this same thing here. So this was a slope. How much was theta? And if you make it like this, theta will become 90 degree. Put it 90 here. This equation will come for the straight fall. This is for inclined fall. Both are basically same thing. So with this, we have studied all the relations of rotational motion. The relations between different quantities and the relations with linear quantity. I will make a chart uh, that you will see just now. Thank you.